Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. If you are new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, and share this video. So today, this video is actually sponsored by Petty Toy. They sent me this magnet fishing game. And as you can see here, Lil Jack is loving it. So you can uh, use a magnet fishing pole thing to fish for these little magnetic pieces. There are um, fish and letters, and um, he was not quite getting the concept of it at first, but he just kept wanting to grab in there and get them. But once he got them, he'd get so excited. So um, he just, he has been playing with this thing nonstop. So what I love about this is is really fine tuning his motor skills. And um, so this thing is very, very cool. Um, you can get it on Amazon and I will put the link to where you can get this in my description box below. And we have this magnetic board we're gonna be hanging in his room and you can put these on the magnetic board or your refrigerator, whichever works for you. So he is loving this and thank you so much Petty Toy for sending this to us. So onto the DIY. I have this um, really cool like nightlight thing that um, Jax had for the longest time, probably since he was born, I don't know. But he broke the top of it and I've not really let him um, play with it. So I'm tearing it apart and I'm gonna create a new nightlight for his room. So I got out my um, wire cutters to break up this plastic because I didn't want to break the base of it. Now I had one of these um, takeout um, bowls like that soup comes in. And what I'm doing is fitting it over the lid of that, over the base of this. And I just took one of my paint pens and um, painted the rim of the base so that I could mark out where I needed to cut off, um, which worked perfectly. And then I just started, oh, I wiped off that, which I don't know why. And then I cut out the middle section of that. Now using my Waverly Chalk paint and ink, I cut, uh, cut painted just the base of that lid the bottom portion of that and I'm also painting the base of the well just the base <laughs> yeah. but I don't paint the buttons of the base um, I'm gonna go in um, later on and paint the buttons red so that they stand out um, if my thumbnail didn't give it away I am creating a little um, what would you even call this? Like a fire alarm light thing? Because we are redoing my grandson's room in like a fire department theme. So initially, as I'm painting this, you can see to the left that you see the lid top is like a brighter red. Well, what I tried doing is like mixing Mod Podge with the Waverly chalk paint in crimson. It did not work. It was horrible. So once that dried, I peeled it out. And then um, I ended up going in and you'll see here, because I lost the footage to that, um, you'll see that I end up already having recoded one other, there you go. I ended up coating it in the inside with this metallic, um, festive red um, paint. I'm not quite sure where it's from, 
So I'm just going in with a second coat, but I'm going to take that second coat on the outside. Now I got this paintbrush from the Dollar Tree. I don't really care for it for what I was doing it for. It might be good on something else. But so I'm just taking a makeup sponge and just going around um, and doing a coat on the outside very quickly. Um, I wanted this still to be able to be kind of see-through because you want the light to be able to shine through. Um, it's still streaky, but it doesn't matter to me. It's for a toddler's room. So I am going over the entire base with a coat of Mod Podge just to protect it from protect it from being scratched. It's going to be high up and the only people going to be turning it on and off will either be myself, my husband, or my daughter. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, so yeah. Now that all of that is dry, I am going to, I'm not going to use hot glue. I do want the base and the bottom of the lid to be able to stay one piece. So I'm just taking this um, super glue fix all that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I am um, using that. By any chance, if you're checking out what's in the bottom of the screen, keep your eye out for those future videos coming soon. So this is how this is going so far. The lid is a very snug fit, which I absolutely love. It means it's not just going to pop off and um, I didn't have to glue it on. So the front button is the solid light and the back button is the flashing. This turned out exactly how I had hoped it would. I cannot be happier. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a great big thumbs up. And if you are by any chance interested in the fishing game, that link will be listed in the description box below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.